In our previous episode, we completed our first round of boat works and returned the dream to the sea. After a few weeks in the marina, finishing preparing the yacht and ourselves, the time had come. We were ready to go sailing. It was a day full of firsts. First time sailing the dream, just the two of us, and first time sailing with Ella. We started the day with calm seas and a steady breeze, so we took turns at the helm and avoid the other pilot. We wanted to get the habit of hand steering and get a feeling on how our rudder bearing pair was behaving. It was Ella's first time sailing. She was nervous and clingy, but in retrospective, she behaved quite well. Before we approached the Cape Sage, contrary to our forecast, the sea started growing and the wind speed increasing. John kept his focus and hand steered us all the way through for many hours, while we surfed the 3.5 meter waves. We wanted to believe that once we rounded the capes, the conditions would settle, but they didn't. After many hours battling the winds, we decided we would motor through the night, but a surprise was waiting for us. The engine kept stalling, so we went to Villamora to rest. Two days later, we left Villamora without being sure the engine was repaired. We had one weather window to get to the Bay of Cadiz, where we would have to sit and wait for the opportunity to get to Gibraltar once the Levante winds blowing from the Mediterranean calmed down. We watched the darkness of night depart and prepared for my first watch while John and Ella got a bit more rest. The sunrise arrived with all its shades. During the following three hours, I watched the skies change colors. As the day went by, we had all settled into small routines. Ella grew a taste in watching the waves and birds in the distance. She was gaining confidence and needing less constant attention and cuddling from us. It was an uneventful day, the hours marked by the change of shifts, cups of freshly made coffee and snoozes. As we were approaching the Bay of Cadiz, only one thing was breaking the routine and catching the attention of some of us. Eventually, the winds died. We packed the main sail, then the Genoa, and motored through. Cadiz was near, and by then, Ella had completely settled down. Finally, she's sleeping all by herself. No mommy, no daddy. While in Cadiz, we crossed the bay by ferry and went for a long walk in the old town, enjoying the beautiful streets and architecture.
one week later, the Levante winds finally calmed down and we were able to continue our trip to Gibraltar. It was a long journey because although the winds on the nose were much calmer, the current and tide on the strait are always punishing. Just like last time, we got a visit from a windsurfer when getting close to Tarifa, but that was not the only surprise. That's the Tarifa ferry, going super fast. Shitty boys, going so fast. So we can't change course until we go out through his way. It's huge. Holy kamozi, look at that wake. He's going almost 30 knots. We're going five to six. It felt like an eternity, but finally the Gibraltar rock was in Eurasia. 